And, and what you're saying is basically, we're talking about literally electricity, like the same way that I have electrons in the wires of my home that give me my lights and my computers and everything. There's electricity, electrons that come from our food and they want to flow to oxygen because that, that's just how the periodic table works. So we breathe in the oxygen, we take in the food, Thanks. the electrons, just, <laughs> they, they want to flow from one to the other. And the body is structured in a way that sort of constrains that flow in important ways. Then we'll get into what that means more in a minute. But in the mitochondria, the mitochondria are little cells inside of our cells and they've got, they've got two membranes and the inner membrane is like a little wire through which these electrons are flowing from food to oxygen and the way it flows and that it flows, that's how energy is getting made. That's, that's how energy is, is getting transformed. Transformed. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. You get electrical energy of the electrons flowing and then through each step in the electron transport chain, right? And which is this a sequence of big protein complexes in the inner membrane of the mitochondria, which are like little folds and they're so gorgeous. So as the electrons are flowing through this, they're facing little steps of resistance and the electron transport chain uh, could be called maybe the electron you know, resistance chain. <laughs> <laughs> but this is like finely tuned by evolution that there's just the right amount of resistance for the electrons as they flow, a little bit of energy is is, tr is extracted, is, is transformed. Uh, and then that is used to pump a proton across the membrane. So then you're using electrical energy that gets transformed into this electrochemical gradient. And then it's this electrochemical, it's that, that step of transformation, which I think is really the magic of life and mm -hmm. maybe why mitochondria enabled complex multicellular life, right? Because then you, you go from chemical, electrical energy, or if, which comes from chemical energy, the, you know, the food you ate, and then you transform this into, you know, this electrochemical charge, which is like a little, uh, what's that? Voltage. Voltage, which is so malleable or so like the degrees of freedom once you have stored electricity the degrees of freedom you know is 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 immense much more than if you go from like biochemical energy so that that ability to transform biochemical energy into an electrical charge like a voltage uh, mm -hmm. potential then you can power everything the same way that electricity powers everything in our lives right from <laughs> computer phone lights you know stove washer so we know electricity is versatile. The brain uses that as an energetic modality to integrate information.